In my speech, you said that Russia was strong because of its monarchy, of its absolute monarchy, but while your speech, you have mentioned that there was war because of the power. What do you have to say about that? That was after more political parties were introduced, and it was because of the division of power. You know, in 1905, there was a rebellion, and Russia became a limited monarchy. So that was against the limited monarchy and not the absolute. Thank you. Madam Speaker, would the Prime Minister like to entertain a question? Um, Madam Speaker, the Prime Minister mentioned that the king wouldn't steal, there would be no theft because he already had everything. But what's the good in that? Then he, like, he could increase taxes whenever he wanted to. He could spend all the money on himself. What can, what can the Prime Minister say about that? Why would he increase taxes when he already had, had all the wealth that he could get? And also, most of the absolute monarchs didn't. Madam Speaker, would the Prime Minister have another question? Yes. As you have mentioned, the absolute monarch has advisors. Now, by having advisors, is it really absolute monarchy? Or in a more specific way, which one of you, will the Prime Minister get the power, or will you get the power? Yes, it is absolute monarchy. You can check by any definition that it is. For example, even Louis the Fourteenth, who was a great example of an absolute monarch, had advisors for a while. So yes, every absolute monarch has an advisor. Because they're not an official form of government, it doesn't count as a limited monarchy. Madam Speaker, would the Crown Minister like to entertain your question? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the Prime Minister's time is up. Thank you.